Hello everyone! Today I'm going to give you a brief introduction on Drug Bank and how to navigate, browse, search, and interpret our results in the website. Let's begin with a short introduction to Drug Bank. Drug Bank is a comprehensive online resource containing over 7,000 drug entries providing detailed drug data and drug target information. It is the largest and most comprehensive resource about drugs on the internet. Combined with a collection of powerful search and browse functions, Drug Bank is frequently used to find information about drug structures and about drug targets. It is also used by many people to learn about drug metabolism, drug actions, drug side effects, drug costs, and to identify drugs from their MS or NMR spectra. Drug Bank has also been used to repurpose existing drugs and to design new drugs based on the information that it provides. Now that we know a little bit about Drug Bank, Let's learn how to navigate around the site. Let's get started with the tutorial. Open Google. In the search bar, type Drug Bank. Next, click on the link that reads www.drugbank.ca. I have attached a link in the description box. Pause the video and resume when you're ready. Opening the website, you'll see six different tabs. Browse, Search, Downloads, About, Help, and Contact Us. In the Browse and Search tabs, you can browse and search drugs based on these expandable options. In the Downloads tab, you can choose to download any of these datasets used in the database. Finally, clicking any of these three tabs will give you more information about the database, if you need more help using the site, and who to contact. Should you want to go back to the home page at any time, click on this header. Now that we're familiar with how to navigate around the site, let's learn how to browse some drugs. Clicking Browse expands an array of different options including Drug Browse, Category Browse, Genome Browse, and so on. Under Drug Browse, you can choose between small molecule drugs and biotech drugs by clicking the blue buttons on the top. We can also filter which drugs are viewable by clicking on the check boxes and pressing Apply Filter. The table of results can be sorted by ascending or descending order by clicking on the drug bank ID, name, or weight. Note that these are marked in blue. Clicking on the page number allows you to move from one page of 25 drugs to another. The Genome Browse option lists drugs whose actions are affected by single nucleotide polymorphisms or SNPs in the target genes or proteins. You can look at drugs that have adverse drug reactions, ADRs, arising from specific SNPs under the SNP ADR category. Or you can look at drugs that have unusual health effects or patient responses arising from specific SNPs under the SNP-FX category. Other browse categories have similar navigation structures, filters, and presentation styles. That's it for browsing. Now let's head over to the searching option. Clicking search expands an array of different options to choose from. Clicking on the Chem Query Structure Search, we can perform a chemical structure search, drawing our query structure here with the tools provided in this box, and adjusting the respective search parameters here on the side. Instead of drawing the structure, we can also paste in a smile string into the drawing box, which is much faster and far easier than drawing a structure from scratch. Smiles short for Simplified Molecular Input Line Entry, is a line notation for representing molecules. Here is the example of a smile string for abacavir. By selecting its smile string and copying it, we can paste it into the drawing toolbox by first clicking on the drawing box and using either Command V on Mac or Control V on Windows. Once it's pasted, the abacavir structure is auto-generated into the box. Once we're satisfied, clicking the search button quickly returns all drugs in Drug Bank with similar structures. Drug Bank's Chem Query also allows you to search chemicals by their molecular weights. So if, if we click the Monoisotopic Mass tab, we can specify a molecular weight range here. Clicking the search button will return all drugs in Drug Banks within the given molecular weight range. In Interact's Interaction Search, we can search for drug-to-drug -drug interactions. You can type in one or more query drug names, and the result is a list of drugs that are known to interact with that query drug, as well as their adverse interactions. 
In Sequence Search, we can copy and paste a FASTA formatted protein sequence and reconfigure the BLAST parameters to your preferences. Searching will yield a list of all sequences in DrugBank with similar sequences to your query sequence. The output from this search also includes the drugs known to act on or bind to the matching sequences or proteins. This kind of search is useful to see if a newly identified protein may also be a potential drug target for an already existing drug. In the advanced search option, we can build queries that support a wide range of conditions and predicates. We can add as many conditions here and choose to match all or match any before hitting search. DrugBank also offers spectral searches for mass spectrometry and NMR spectroscopy. Search types include mass, tandem mass, gas chromatography and mass, 1D NMR, and 2D NMR. Each spectrum search option can be accessed via the quick tabs above. Different spectrum searches have different fields that have to be filled in, and if you're confused as to how your input should look like, click on Example, which will generate sample numbers for you to test. Here, I have shown what the output for a typical MS slash MS search will look like. Note how the match structures are scored for their fit, R fit, and purity relative to the query MS slash MS data. That's it for searching. Now that we're familiar with browsing and searching, it's time to look at what kind of data is in a typical drug bank entry. Let's go back to the drug browse option and select the first entry in the database at back of your. Every drug record in drug bank has 10 different data sections covering identification, taxonomy, pharmacology, ADMET, pharmacoeconomics, properties, spectra, references, interactions, and comments. To look at specific sections, such as the identification section, we can quickly access that by clicking the tab labeled identification above. You can also access the section by scrolling down and viewing some of the other descriptive sections. Within the identification section, you will find the name, drug bank accession number, the drug type, the drug group, a short description, the structure, the synonyms, the prescription products, the generic prescription products, the over-the-counter products, international brands, brand mixtures, salts, categories, cast number, molecular weight, the chemical formula, the inchi key, the inchi identifier, the IU pack name, and the smile string. The color tabs located just below the white navigation tabs show the number of targets, enzymes, and biointeractions a given drug has. Again, clicking on these tags hyperlinks it to its corresponding section. To the right of the target tabs, we find another tab called Show Drugs with Similar Structure tab. Clicking this tab will show all drugs in Drug Bank that are chemically similar to a back of your. This can be useful to learn about the potential activity, cross reactivity, or additional targets that a back of your may have based on its chemical similarity to other known drugs. In summary, we learned how to navigate, browse, search, and explore the data in Drug Bank. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please stay tuned for more videos to come.